like we were we were basically ready to go for uh, Wales, and they came in with an offer, which you know we've had offers before from that region that have never materialised. So I didn't take it too seriously. Then we explored it. They wouldn't let it go. I put it to the fighters, um, to Anthony. He was blown away by the offer. And I spoke to Ruiz's team, and they said we'd much rather go to Saudi Arabia than the UK. So eventually, the deal made sense, and we made it happen. Eddie, um, you've got a quick minute. Thanks for your time. Um, I'm going to get straight to the point. You know, people are asking about Saudi Arabia, and it doesn't. For me, it's about the fighters. Yeah. Um, it's an inter it's a really interesting rematch. How do you see the rematch going, and what changes do you think AJ is going to bring in the rematch stylistically and training-wise prior to it? Well, I think stylistically and mentally, there's got to be a lot of changes. I think he wasn't I say he wasn't up for the fight. Like he had no feeling for the fight. He really wanted to do damage to Jarrell Miller. Yeah. Then Andy Ruiz stepped in. Didn't really know about him. Yeah. Seemed like a nice guy, and then went in there and just got thought that he could bulldoze him. Nearly did, and then got hit by a shot he never recovered from. Yeah. So. But he didn't box great even in the early rounds, and he knows that. So yeah. he needs to make sure. I've never seen him this focused before, probably since the Klitschko fight, yeah. where it's the first time where no one's talking about what's next. People are just talking about an individual. Yeah. So he's got to put a game plan in place to beat an individual rather than, oh, you've got to beat him, then you've got to fight Wilder, then you've got to fight Fury. Yeah. And I think that helps a regimental guy like AJ to get his head around the game plan and what he's got to do. Brilliant.